We're back at Bowmanston on this edition of Water Wednesdays and today we are on a mission. You see that we have our life jackets. That's because we are going into the second deepest well run by the Barbados Water Authority. To tell you a bit more about this mission, we have Dr. John Mwanza. He's the technical advisor to the BWA. Dr. Mwanza, tell me what we're doing here this morning. Essentially, as we have uh, said previously, the water level in the Bomaston uh, well has been dropping. Now, the Bomaston well, to get water, we constructed a check dam that is downstream of the well to hold back the water that runs through a cave. Now, we want to go and check how much water is actually left in the stored behind the check dam. And to do that, we have to go down through this old well, which previously was used with a steam engine. Mm -hmm. It is 269 feet. 269 feet? Yes. When, wow. we, when we go down, we will go upstream about 100 yards to get to where the well that is pumping water from here is. And then we'll come and go downstream another 200 yards to get to the check dam. Okay. So we're going to take you into that well right now. Let's go, Dr. Mwanza. Okay. Okay, yeah. so we are back after a five hour mission underground going almost 300 feet, actually over 300 feet down in some cases. We swam through water, we walked through caverns just to get some idea of what is happening with our ground water supply. Dr. Mwanza, tell us what we just saw. Well, what we experienced is very similar to what you'd experience in a river in a situation where you have a flash flood where the water level builds up very quickly because two weeks ago when we were there the water in the section where we have the check dam did not come past my west yes but today from the minute we came out of the bucket and stepped out we were stepping in water that was higher than both of us so it is a substantial difference and that is because of the rains from the last two days. Now some people might question that and say, but you say water takes three months to become groundwater. But this is a different situation because the, the cave is what is bringing the water through. It is connected to the surface and the water is flowing through the cave just like it would flow through the pipe. What uh, can we say about pumping from Bormanston right now? Are we still in a good position? With Where that level, at? the, the Bormanston should be able to run all three pumps. But what happens when you get that kind of water coming in is that the water is turbid, it is not clear. So I am not sure if they are actually pumping now because when the water comes in that quickly, it is not clear. And what we do is shut down let the sediment settle down mm -hmm. and the water clears up before we resume pumping. But the water at that depth, we should be able now to pump with three pumps and in about a day or two, if there's no additional rain, that water which we experienced there will drop again. Unless we get substantial rain, we will continue to experience water outages. Well, uh, Dr. Mwanza, I really got to thank you and thank the crew here for taking us down into this uh, cavern. Uh, and thank you for watching Water Wednesdays. We will continue to tell you about this story happening here at Bowmingston. To view this or our previous episode again, please visit our website, www.barbadiswaterauthority.com. You can go to our Facebook page for additional information and this exclusive footage, or just type Water Wednesdays in YouTube. You can find us there. It is